Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel Custom Carving and Epoxy UK. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you saw the uh, latest video where I made the giant butterfly out of UV resin. But this is just going to be a quick video because I've had a few messages from people asking how to turn pendants like this, uh, cabochons should I say, that you've made from uh, resin into jewellery. And it's dead straightforward, to be honest with you. It's a case of getting the right hardware to make life easier. So that's what this video is about. Dead simple, how to make jewelry out of your cabochons once you've made them. So here's some of the large oval cabochons that I've made. These are actually my favorite to make in the mold because I think you get the most detail and the most design out of them, really. Um, it's like this one that we did with the silicone oil. Um, amazing effects. And they're dead straightforward. It is a case of either getting some pinch bales, which you get in a variety of different sizes. You're going to want the large ones for these because if you're going to make it into a pendant and you've got a large oval like this, you're going to need a large pinch bale in there like that. Um, so it's dead straightforward. Simply drill a small hole, do it from the back to the front, um, and then just make sure there's no rough edges. You might wanna also add some UV resin to the back just to make sure everything is completely flat. And then you can either add a bit of glue or just put them straight in. I find that they don't move. They're dead straightforward and you can put them in. So that's one way. But if you want an even easier way, um, there's a lot of hardware packs that you can get nowadays uh, like these, where basically you get the backing, you get glass cabochons, and you get the chains. Um, and I will put links to these in the description, but I find this the simplest way. Um, it does cost a little bit more, so I think for this pack of 10, it was around about 12 pounds UK um, money. So, um, but you get everything that you need in the pack. And the good thing is when you get them off Amazon, rather than places like Timu, um, you find that it's good quality stainless steel that doesn't make your skin go green when you wear them. And that's the last thing you want for your customers if that's what you're gonna do. And as you can see, they come with these glass cabochons, which if I'm being honest, I'm probably not gonna use. But what I might do, because I like the shape so much, is make a mold out of these so that I've got um, a mold to make my own cabochons and I can do 10 or 12 of these at a time rather than the two per mold that I currently do um, because I love the effects that you can get in these large oval ones. And then it's dead straightforward. You've got your back. It's as simple as that. Hopefully you'll find if you get the 30 by 40 mil ones, your cabochon fits in there almost perfectly like that. And that looks absolutely stunning on that one. Um, and what you might want to do, if you've got some that have a bit of translucency, so if we look at this one, if you see at the top there, you can see the, um, the cabochon backing through it, that sort of uh, turned engine design or whatever it is, you can see it at the top. Now, I don't particularly like that. So what you might wanna do first is back this in either black or a strong white before you actually put it in the setting and then you'll see that color rather than the back of the, um, the pendant backing. Uh, but then it's dead straightforward. As long as you've got a flat back on it, all you need to do, I use no more nails. Uh, I've seen other creators using things like E6000 glue, which you can use as well, but I've always used no more nails because I haven't found a stronger adhesive. And once I've got a, a pendant secure or a piece of jewelry secure, I will not be able to get it out if I put this in. So that shows me how strong it is. So just to show you dead simply, all you need to do is put a decent blob on the back, spread it around, not too close to the edges because you don't want any sort of seeping out afterwards, but make sure there's a decent amount on there so you know it's gonna grab the cabochon. Um, and that's the way that I do it. Decent amount on there. And then all I do, dead straightforward, is grab one of the cabochons, decide which way you want it, because obviously once it's in there, you aren't gonna be able to change it. Give it a quick clean uh, with a microfiber cloth, because if you are gonna put these up for sale, you want them looking at the best. And then it's deciding which way round you think it looks best in the setting. This one personally, I think would be that way. Put it in the, the setting itself, press down, 
all around and then in 24 hours that will be solid and secure ready for sale and then this package as well also came with the chains so dead straightforward each item will come with its own and these are actually quite long chains actually compared to some of the others that I've got. So interesting because some of the other ones I've got seem very short. Um, but these are actually the longer stainless steel chains. Dead straightforward with a lobster clasp. Stainless steel as well. So you know you're not going to send your customer skin green or anything like that. And then you should, in the space of a couple of minutes, once you've already got your cabochons done, have... A perfect little pendant ready for sale and because this all came as one pack I know that the chain will fit through the um, the top of the pendant backing as well because again some of these thicker chains what you'll find is they won't fit through the smaller ones so then you're gonna have to use things like o-rings um, and the great thing about having one this length actually is you can adjust it to whatever size you want as a customer so there you go, quite a long chain with that one, but a beautiful pendant ready for sale. So there you go, that's one way to do it. And then the other way to do it is, as I say, just literally drill a hole through and put one of these pinch bales on. They come in multi-packs as well with different sizes and colors, as you can see. And then it's just picking which one you think is gonna be right for that pendant. And then hopefully your customers will agree and buy it but look at that that is absolutely stunning and this one is actually going to be listed on our etsy store as will the rest of these as well probably this weekend uh, so they will be available for sale um, in the uk or in the us so if you want to support the channel get on there the link is here uh, to the shop and again if you've liked the content or if you've learned anything from it um, please like and subscribe to the channel i'm going to put links to this hardware um, on Amazon in the UK and the US in the description as well so you can see it um, and get it yourself you know it's that simple to make a gorgeous pendant that somebody is going to hopefully treasure forever so hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one